Hey guys, welcome to the next game in the Euro 2012 simulator. It is the big one. It is Holland versus Scotland, the match I most feared. <laughs> and it really has come down to this. Uh, if we can get a result here, uh, certainly if we win, um, we are basically through. It's simple as that. If we can beat the Dutch, who have yet to concede the fucking goal, <laughs> ironically, um, then they are going through. Now, of course, there are, you know, even at the, I, I don't even know if they've actually put a second string team off them and deck out, I can't imagine. They start, um, but you know Van Persie's still playing. Oh no, sorry. Oh, it's Ricky Van Bolswinkel. I completely got, to, well, I totally got in the way. I thought that was RVP there, but no, it's uh, Rafael Van der Vaart. I assume, yep. Yeah. Elia, Kaut, De Jong, Maduro, Peters, Heiting, yeah, Masters, Stam. So, pretty strong team. Uh, the only change I think of, think I've got Danny Fox comes in. Uh, Scott Brown. Uh, comes in. I was originally going to play James Morrison, but uh, decided to go with Charlie Adam. Jonathan McGregor, my assistant manager, also recommended that, but I decided to go with Charlie Adam. A risky move, I know. He, he's, his condition's like 92, so I thought that that will do. That'll be okay. You know, it won't, it won't make a change. I was going to. Um, I was going to do that. I, I, t I tell you a funny thing. If I bring James Morrison on, and he scores, I will sing "Broken Strings." For those who don't know, that is a song by an artist called James Morrison. He is a singer. I don't know, any, th any time I see um, <laughs> James Morrison, I just think of that. And it, it's like, it's like um, for those, of course, who watch Soccer AM, it's, uh, I think I'll just get all these on. It's uh, like, like one of those things when you see someone's name. Sorry, hang on, I'm concentrating on this. I'll, I'll, get, I'll explain myself in a moment. <laughs> so you relax, Ooh, that's a bit annoying. Graham Dorrance is 91. Charlie Adams actually gone down to 91. So yeah, McGregor. Hang on, really? Why not playing Craig Gordon? Oh, whatever. Never mind. Uh, we're gonna fuck it. We're gonna go to control. Might have to pull it back to standards. But yeah, as I say, uh, so great. And they always take the piss out of people with names like that. Um, you know, with like you know celebrity names or whatever. I think uh, like for example, when Robbie Fowler, like they talked about him, could save McGregor. Um, like the player, like a, a, I can't remember. It's like. Um, like an Alleluia sound because of course Liverpool fans call him God and all that. So yeah, they do all crazy, wacky, crazy things like that. But at least we uh, are two minutes in. We're still level, hooray! <laughs> no, okay, no, I mean obviously we wouldn't make it this far without scoring. And here's Jamie Mackey, well, not the best strike in the world. As I mentioned before, Holland um, have yet to concede the goal. If you saw in the last video when we looked at the stats real quick, um, they have yet to concede the goal, which is absolutely frightening. <laughs> really not good. Um, and if we concede here, this is really going to throw a few things into the... Oh, this is going to... Oh, no, this is not good. I don't like how... I'm actually going to have to... I think I will move it to standard, actually, because I hate... hate this. This is really tense. In fact, I will get rid of the latest scores and just will go on the, the league table and assume someone has scored through the uh, league table. It doesn't really matter the scorers, does it? I forgot to show you the uh, Ukraine... Italy... Sorry, the uh, Italy goals from the last game. I apologise for that. Jamie Mackey again... It's so annoying when he does that. As you see, yeah. I mean, Holland have only, to be fair, we scored more goals than them. We've actually scored one more goal. So that's quite encouraging. They've scored three. Well, they've yet to, as I say, yet to concede. It's a decent build-up play, but we're doing okay. I can't fault them so far. But, of course, if it stays like this... Um, if it stays like this, or even if we concede... Uh, actually, bear in mind, if, even if we lose, as long as Serbia and Russia draw, uh, we're okay. I think. <laughs> Should be, hopefully. Anyway, oh, chance for Fletcher! <sighs> Close. And uh, there you go, Russia have taken the lead. So that has made things a hell of a lot worse. And, oh, it was always going to happen. It is offside. Um, sorry, not offside, it's a foul. Sorry, that was. I just knew as soon as that corner came in, I was about to say, they're going to score now. It's going to rotate, you know, it's going to uh, do the whole motion thing. But let's have a look at, well, what you're looking at, it's a foul. <laughs> um, but Russia have taken the lead, so as it stands currently, fairly early days, of course, um, they are going through the Russians. Too sure what he did there. It's a lucky goal, apparently. Now, we really actually do need to score. Hopefully get the Serbians... Scoring might actually need to pull the score up now in a minute once this one's uh, once this one's finished. Just think, is it beyond now? Is it just too difficult? 
Chance for Van der Vaart. Oh my days, that went very, very close. Later scores. Yep, the Russians, Berezutsky with the lead. But we are gone half an hour and we have yet to concede the goal from Holland. Uh, sorry, against Holland, which ain't bad. I'll give them that. But I just feel the time and eventually Holland will score. You just have to have that feeling. I'll say Hassel Pels and get stuck in, but I must say that. But, you know, I'm going to have to mastermind this here to, to beat the Dutch. If, if we do beat Holland here, I do have a feeling that we can actually go on and win this. Like, the whole thing. But, uh, ah, Jovanovic has been injured. I assume that's Milan Jovanovic, the absolute twat who used to play for Liverpool. He's such a bad player. Uh, so we are hopefully going to get into half-time here. Still with a chance in this game. Scott Brown, a terrible effort from Scott Brown. Come on, I've brought you in. The least you can do is just impress me a little bit. And we are level at half-time. That's not bad. So keep going up there. Well, I can really say that. Having a poor game. I'm going to have to say, come on. Old. I might have to bring. I might actually bring Kenny Miller on in about 15 minutes if nothing comes through. And now the Russians have taken a 2-0 lead. Alexander Kersikov, who of course can buy a, a goal against the Czech Republic, and uh, not really either against the. Um, again, who did he play today? The Greeks. So yeah, that's quite amusing. He, him scoring. But we look confident. This is decent. Look at this from Mackey. He's very confident. It's Jamie Mackey. Oh, that was so close to the corner. I think Stecklenburg got something on that. So let's just close that. Get rid of that. We don't need that. So basically, as far as, we can, as far as we're concerned, Russia are going to win and beat Serbia. And I think who's injured? There is Elia or McNaughton. I can't quite see. I can't see. They're both on top of each other. No, it's Elia. Oh, and Cauty's good at one of them. Oh, he's great at those little... Uh, through balls, there's route one balls. Here's the injured Elia. Thought he was actually genuinely badly injured. Right, anyway, I'm going to take. Um, no, I need to make a change. There you go, make quick sub. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Fletcher off. Snodgrass not having a great game. I think we'll bring Kenny Miller on due to his roaring pace. <laughs> I say that very lightly. But no, I think a draw here. I wouldn't, obviously, I realise a draw is not enough, but even if we do draw, I wouldn't be heartbreakingly disappointed, you know, at least we got to draw against Holland. Of course, uh, for those who watch my Liverpool save, uh, I did take, of course, a hold of Holland. Well, good save. Uh, for a very short period of time in about, uh, I think it was about 2016 when they really were chronically bad. Uh, they slipped down. Oh, Danny Wilson, that's a bad foul. Uh, they had slipped down all the way rankings until about, uh, I think they, they ended up in, uh, when I left them, they ended up in 50th position in the world rankings. Um, they were bad. Their regions were awful. I'm very concerned for Holland because their their uh, their next generation doesn't seem to be coming. Well, apparently, according to the game, their next generation aren't coming through. <laughs> I don't know. Are they? I don't know. Uh, obviously, don't 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 jump on me if like if from that statement, this is what the game thinks. I don't think that. Anyway, here's Kenny Miller in the box. Really good play by Miller. Oh, you fool! You got in the way there, Scott Brown. Oh, come on! No, stop shooting from stupid. Well, I don't have to say stop shooting from shooting stupid angles because that may have. We might get a look at deflection, it flies in. But at the same time, you know, wasting chances. That was a real, especially when you're that far into the box. Is Iron Robin. Oh, don't give away a penalty. Fuck's sake, Danny Fox, I brought you into the team. Penalty was a harsh decision. Let's get rid of this bloody table. Oh, dear, dear Kaus. Well, he's very, very good from penalties, as we all know. Alan McGregor has saved it! Oh, what a fantastic... Well, I jinxed their count there. I knew I was going to jinx him when I say he's good at penalties. 15 minutes to go. We are still in this game. Should have caught it. <laughs> oh, Danny Fox, you've just been there. He's, oh, he's got you out of jail there. Don't like these long balls up. It's going to come straight back to you. Stephen Fletcher is not on the field. And that's another good save by Alan McGregor. Don't hoof it up the field. I need to tell him to, I need to stop him. Anyway, we're going to make another change here. Fox's free kick. I thought that was going to go in. Uh, we're going to take... Uh, I'm going to take... Oh, I don't know what to take now. Yeah, I'll take some grass off. We're going to bring on Sean Maloney. And I think because fate warrants it from what I've said before, I might bring James Morrison on. Actually, where does he even play? 
Oh yeah, <laughs> to think about that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to take Charlie Adam off. He's getting a bit tired. Let's bring Morrison on. I don't know what he can play as. He's a bit, I'm just going to say central mid. I don't know. Right. Last dying few minutes. Let's bring that table back. Let's have a look at the goal updates. 3-0 Russia. So that is dead and buried now. That really is the game over. Russia are going through. If we find a goal from somewhere... We are going through, but if Holland, of course, finally all that will be heartbreak. It's Robin. It's another good save. Elia kicks it out of play for some reason. Oh, God, we're into out of time. Jesus Christ, I didn't see that. Three minutes to go. It's not going to do it. It's a still a Holland corner. Why am I saying um, I did not see that overload? It's not going to work. But here's Kenny Miller. One minute to go. Final opportunity of the game. It's Kenny Miller with a poor, poor cross. No one's in the box. It's my bad. I probably didn't realise how... To be honest, the game went so quickly, I didn't even know it was into... Thing. Then I and Robin, I think that might just be it, but in fairness, we've got three draws here. Got one final chance. Nope, I think that may be it. That's going to be it. Nil-nil against Holland. As I, I, I cannot be upset about that. We've got three draws. But it's not going to be enough. We didn't lose Russia. Well, Serbia let us down, really. Well, that's a shame. Because um, we really did do well. Just just three points. That's really decent. <laughs> well, we held the Dutch. McGregor was really good. But unfortunately, it just wasn't off. I mean, that, that is pretty... You have to say... Well, Russia and Holland are the ones to go through. Ah, what it what it's done there is also played. Ah, I wasn't expecting that. That's twice now this has happened in Group D. Now, because they were on the same day, and because we had to say, oh, dear me, right. Why has it done that? Oh, God, game. Why have you pissed me off? All right, let's let's go back to group stage. So, even though we didn't win a game, we didn't lose any games. You've got to give me... You've got to give us that. Russia, won one, drawn one, lost one. Scotland didn't lose any games, but didn't qualify. Just about. By the absolute skin of the teeth, Russia... Well, I wouldn't say that really, but going through... And France and Sweden going out. Now, that's interesting. I wonder if that's an omen for uh, Group D there. France and Sweden both getting knocked out. Now, fortunately, that wasn't... I don't know why, but that didn't play out. Now, because our game finished um, so, like, late... I'm not sure if... I, I, oh, shit, hang on. There we go. Um, damn, that's really annoying. Why has it done that? It's played the game out already, and I couldn't stop it. Well, that's really annoying. So, we'll have a look at their game, goals as well. Um, so Germany 5-1. Now, unfortunately, because the, uh, because it's already started, I cannot actually get the team. Uh, the real German team, sorry. Uh, because this is already the... You know, I've deleted the fake.lnc file, as you saw in the last uh, German video. But, unfortunately, uh, it, because it's already sort of concreted into the, to the game, who plays and stuff like the squad... That it won't change the name, so unfortunately we are stuck with this phony German team who are going through. Um, and Spain beat France 1-0. Now, unfortunately, as I say, David Silva scoring there. Uh, man of the match. Um, Frank Ribéry actually got subbed off. Look at that injury. Ooh, I wonder if that changed that. Uh, so, <clears throat> that's really disappointing. We don't want to see Russia's goals. Forget them. Too many goals for Germany. We'll, sh we'll show you David Silva's goal. In fact, we can't. Come on, let me click. You can hear me clicking there. We'll see if we can we see Italy's goal from yesterday. Why can I see that but not Spain's goal? <laughs> A bit weird. I think it's because it, I don't think it actually loads them. I think it's really just simulated it. This is uh, Italy's goal from yesterday against uh, Ukraine, which I totally forgot to show you. It's a decent strike from Montalivo. So, unfortunately, that means... We are out. Scotland are out, but to be fair, 
we put up a decent effort, I'm sure you will agree. So this is the team qualifying then. Italy, Croatia from Group A. Norway and England from Group B, Group C, Holland and Russia, and Group D, Germany and Spain. So who do I think is going to qualify from Group C in real life? I reckon it will probably be Spain and Italy. Who do I think will qualify from Group D? Honestly, now my mind has changed. I think it will be England and Ukraine. I think Ukraine will be France. Or at least I'll give them a good game at the very least. At least. So um, what I think Lee's is to do now is... Uh, I do apologise for those who wanted like another game. I'll, obviously I'll upload the Liverpool save for that. I, that's really disappointing. Thanks game. You just ruined the whole thing for me. <laughs> uh, what we're going to look at now is the quarter final draw. Hopefully I don't get sacked in the process. Um, okay, so let's have a look then. It's going to be England versus Italy. Can I not just see that? There you go. Uh, th this is the draw then. England versus Italy. Norway versus Croatia. Uh, Spain versus Holland. Oof, that'll be... Oh, final. And uh, Germany versus Russia. So uh, that is the quarterfinal draw. I will be presenting that then on the quarterfinal days. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry about that Germany game at the end there. I don't think it matters really, though, does it? To be honest, to be honest it's new gens, isn't it? So, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Sorry, Scott. Couldn't do it. Couldn't break the, uh, couldn't break the, uh, the pattern. So, thanks for watching. Anyway, I will see you for these quarterfinal games, starting with England versus Italy. Thank you. Have a bye.